So I've picked all the pink flowers that were lying around in the garden that have started falling off the branches. Because I did think of something interesting we could do with it. So the pink flowers I found this morning, I'm going to do a flamingo. Draw a rough outline of your flamingo, then take some watercolour paint. I'm using a mixture of white and blue just to create a wash in the background. We're working backwards again today. So just keep this going until it's all complete. Once it's finished we're going to take our glue and start with the head. Now we are going to use our felt for the defined areas. So we just need to put some glue on. I'm using PVA but you can use a glue stick. And we're just going to gently break up our flowers and use them as our little palette. So you basically you are just building it up using the, the flowers and the colours that you have. So I'm using the darker flowers to create shade and the lighter flowers for the lighter areas. And I found the inside of this flower matches the little speckly bits on the edge of the beak. So that's what you're looking for and how you're going to build up your flamingo. So just continue until we've finished the whole flamingo. Now it should be starting to look a bit like this. But I want to add some drama to my picture. Remember the flowers that I picked with these stems in the middle? I'm going to pick these out and I'm going to stick them into this area here where the tail end of the bird would be. So I'm going back to my black markers and I want to put some definition in. So they only really do have a little tiny eye. When we get to the leg areas, I don't want to use any flowers and I don't want to use the harshness of a felt. I want us to go back to our paints. I'm just carefully painting. And there you have it, your finished flamingo, made for some flowers from the garden.